Daniela, good evening. The home where the invasion took place is right behind me. The homeowner telling us that his relatives were taking his daughter to school this morning when they were met by masked gunmen who forced them back into the home. And take a listen as he describes what happened after. It was a scary morning along Westlake Drive in Sugarland, where police say a family was the target of a home invasion. It's kind of just strange and scary. What I've heard, he was targeted. It was nothing like a, uh, like a street crime or they didn't just come random. Ryan Wen, who lives at the home, says his father-in-law and uncle were about to drive his daughter to school when three masked men wearing white gloves pulled a gun on them, tied them up, and forced them back inside. I believe that they just targeted to get some money, but uh, fortunately, these people don't keep cash uh, inside their homes. That man is a longtime family friend, one of several people inside of the home at the time. One says the man forced his father-in-law to take them room to room, passing by his. When I go to the door and I see he come in, I try to shoot, but my gun is not loaded. And I say, and I say, run. And they both run. One says he followed the intruders outside where he fired but missed. When I run outside, I load it and I shoot them outside. I shoot two times outside, but they run so fast. And then they, they jump to the wall and then they run. The men got away, leaving the family and friends shaken up. I'm petrified. I've served in the military and and uh, this brings me back all the, the you know, the, the PTSD that comes with it. Sugarland police tells us they believe the family might have been targeted because they own several businesses here in the Houston area and in another state. As for those three masked men, they remain on the run today. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.